Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. When I did my review of the Track Builder Loop Launcher, I also included this one here, this old Quick Kick Loop. I also used a couple red loops from the Total Turbo Takeover. This is a little video from that review. I'll have a link for that video in the description if you missed that old review. Now, Loop Launcher worked very well. This Quick Kick Loop, we noticed it had an issue. When you look on the front of the box, it looks like the track comes straight in and the track comes straight out. You look on the back of the box, that sure looks like it right there. Comes straight in, comes straight out. Let me put something right here as a line. Look, it's straight. Straight in, straight out. But if you look at this picture down here, you can barely tell that this part here, yeah, it actually kicks it a little left when it comes out the loop. But when you get it set up, you can definitely see how it comes in straight, but it comes out crooked. In that review, I also use a lot of accessories. The Volcano, I use some of his stunts. These right here came from the Volcano, including this one right here. Some might think that that was the problem, the cars were crashing because of this. But in the video, you can see that the cars are kind of coming out of the track right here. Let me do some slow-mo of the video, and you can see that the cars are flying out of the track right there. They're actually coming out of the track and bouncing off the inside of the mouth. And that's why they crash at the end of the track. They're not coming out straight. So let's test just the quick kick loop. That was the last one on the track. The one with the crooked exit. That doesn't look like it's crooked on the box. But when you buy it, it's crooked. Not what you're expecting. But we're going to take it off and just have the cars come straight out. And let's see how well they stay on the track. I really like the skull. So instead, I'm going to put them over here. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I'm giving you different camera angles this time so you can see one how it comes out of the loop and the second one up in the sky it's more top down you're almost looking straight down so you get a better angle here we go now let's check the slow-mo as you can see he's coming out of the kicker loop and how come he's not sitting down in the track? He made it through three other loops without a problem. And then he comes to this one, and all of a sudden he has a problem. I used the Origin of Awesome 5 pack so that we can test more cars on this. I did it in the original review. I'm going to go ahead and use those cars again. Except for the uh, Baja truck, uh, he's not so good. He kept uh, stopping over there. Let's go ahead and get Rev Rod. Now see, he's low, he's low enough in the track to where he's able to stay within the borders of the walls of the track. Everything's reset. Here comes Twin Mill. He's a little slower on the track. Does he have a bad wheel? Let me see. No, he's okay. It's okay. Reset. Twin mill again. That's it. It's kind of slow today. Hmm. Twin mill and rev rod, they're low profile cars. Very low to the ground, and they're able to stay in the track better. This is the one that had a problem, right? Quick and sick had a problem in the original review. Oh, let's check the slow motion. He made it. He made it all the way, but I think he came up out of. He's not. He doesn't come out. He hits that curb. Look, he hits that little crooked part of the exit. Almost doesn't make it. Now it's time for Bone Shaker. He's the last one out of the Origin of Awesome Five Pack, but I'm sure you've seen these five cars right here. These are all Track Stars from this Track Stars Five Pack. Oh, going too fast for that sharp curve at the end. Now let me go ahead and get the five pack out. This is the one that uh, I am using. I already opened up the five pack. I, I used them for another video. That video, the link's in the description. But let's go ahead and use these five models right here. 
everything is reset, here he comes. Need a little push? Don't, please don't hit me. Made it all the way. Metal base, plastic body. He's x ray sir. You can see right through his body, so you know he's plastic. Let me give him another try and see if he can make it all the way without any help. What happened? Let me check your wheels. Yeah, it looks okay. Say go. <laughs> Almost all the way. I'm gonna put you right there. Reset, reset, reset. Reset. And reset. The governor. It could be a Batmobile. Except for that curve. They're going too fast for that end curve. Let me check the slow-mo how he comes out of the kicker. Yeah, it pops up a little bit. With his metal base, plastic body, and low profile, he's able to come out no problem. Should we start off the track? Oh, actually, maybe we'll leave him here. Maybe we'll have a little funny crash right there. See you later. This one might have a problem with that exit right there because he has a metal body and a plastic base. That's the ones that might be able to, they might pop up over there because they have more weight on the top. And if they get kicked sideways, that's why they flip over. Or not. Here he comes. Well, he was okay, and he would have made it all the way, except we had a, a car there to make it funny. Governor, excuse me. Now you're gonna have to move because we would like to give See You Later a straight shot. Spun out. It's that, it's that sharp curve. Now it's time for ballistic. Metal body, plastic base. Let's see how this metal body track star does. Having difficulty with that tight U turn, as are the other metal cars. Let's check the slow mo though, because we're looking at the kicker loop. Yeah, maybe that makes him unstable. I don't know. He does make it through a little unstable. And last up, Split Vision, another metal body, plastic base. Actually, there's not a whole lot of metal on this car at all. Just the red is metal. The silver looks plastic, base is plastic. But let's see how he does. Set, go. You know, they're having a problem with that U-turn down there. I probably should be bracing the corner I'll prop up that corner in a minute after I try to get split vision to successfully make it down the track. Go. Yeah, he came out of the track right at that spot. I'm going to do him again. I want to I want to prop this up a little bit. It might help the cars uh, navigate this corner a little better. It's a little hard to see, but uh, here comes a rip rod. I realized part of the problem, I need to flare this piece. I think the cars were nicking the track when they were coming out. I think they were hitting this edge, but I'm still gonna prop it up a little bit. Now that I checked some of the other footage, yep, they were hitting that nick and that was causing problems. Pinch and flare, you gotta pinch and flare.
All the way. So you see some of the cars make it through, some don't, but this causes problems. I don't know why they designed it like this. Not only that, even if your car does make it through, it affects the rest of your layout because it's crooked. And so that means your whole thing's gonna be all wonky. You can't make a nice design like this. I don't know whoever did this. Let's get, get that one. If you find this one at a discount, it's not even worth the discount in my opinion. Okay, the governor. Ah, that car doesn't work in a kicker loop very good. The back of them's kind of curved. But we'll give him one more try. Nope. Goodbye. Twin duction. Oh, got to reset the kicker. Everybody's going to get just one more try. That's it. Nope, still having problems down there. So far, only Rev Rod made it all the way. Here comes Ballistic. Oh. Reset. I reset the other two. Here comes Split Vision. Oh, so close. Next is Bone Shaker. Now, if you were doing a layout like this, you would want more straight track into your curve to slow the car down. Right now, it's too close. He's going too fast, and the cars have a hard time with that type of curve. Oh, oh. Twin Mill. He was a little slow on the track last time. And he runs out of gas. Quick and sick. See you later. Oh, so close. Again, like I said, you'd want to you'd want more track to slow them down before that curve. Okay, Synchro, bring it home. Loop Launcher 2016 version in the brown box. That's the one you want to get. The link for my original review is in the description. That one, don't buy it. Bye-bye.